So what's the EUI K6 Pro? That's coming right up. Welcome to Run Playback. This week, we're putting the EUI K6 Pro, a futuristic looking foldable fat tire e-bike to the test. Let's check out its features, weigh the pros and cons, and find out if it's the right ride for you. So let's get to it. The K6 Pro features a magnesium alloy frame, setting it apart with unique angles and a futuristic design that's sure to turn heads. It's not the same tired foldable fat tire bike design, it's a statement. With a 1000 watt geared hub motor, the K6 Pro doesn't skimp on power, hitting a top speed of 28 miles per hour. Although there's five pedal assist levels and a shifter, the controller tune seems to favor a sport mode feel with very little variation in between. A hefty 48 volt, 25 amp hour removable battery powers the K6 Pro, promising a range of 50 to 80 miles based on your riding style and conditions. That's a decent distance, but the caveat is that the length of the battery can be an issue when moving, but more on that later. The Shimano 8-speed derailleur ensures you're in the right gear for the ride, while the dual hydraulic disc brakes provide decent stopping power for the weight of the bike. An unusually wide, plush saddle seat caters to comfort, crucial for those longer rides. And the rear suspension shock and hydraulic front suspension fork work together to smooth out the bumps along the way. Okay, here it is, the EUI K6 Pro, foldable fat tire electric bike. As you can see, the frame is really unique. It has a very futuristic aesthetic, the angles, the lines, all of it. The frame is made out of magnesium alloy, and the color is kind of like a silverish gray. We have 20 by 4 inch all-terrain fat tires, integrated front fender, front suspension fork with preload, and compression adjustment. We also got an integrated front headlight, very, very bright, riser handlebars, left-hand rubber grip, horn, display controls, center mounted black and white LCD display, eight speed Shimano derailleur, and a right hand half twist throttle. We also got Logan hydraulic disc brakes. Inside the frame, we have a 48 volt, 25 amp hour removable battery. I'll show you guys in a minute how this thing folds and how the battery comes out. Foldable pedals, rear suspension shock, a very wide and comfortable saddle seat with an integrated battery powered taillight, integrated rear rack, integrated rear fender, the Shimano eight speed derailleur, and a thousand watt geared hub motor. Now the total weight of the bike is 81 pounds and it feels a lot heavier than that to be honest. So pretty heavy, might be a little bit difficult to transport. You might need a hand if you're taking this up a flight of stairs or putting it inside of a vehicle. Now I'll show you guys how the EUI K6 Pro folds up. It's a little bit different than what you're used to. So this is the twist lock to fold the frame. So we're gonna unscrew it and you have to turn it all the way for this thing to fold and vice versa. You have to twist it all the way in for the bike to be completely secured. So first we'll fold the pedals, put the kickstand up and then we just squeeze the bike. and that's how it folds down. So an issue that we encountered with the spike folded down is that there's not a lot of clearance to remove the battery. So we'll unlock it and when we try to pull the battery out, it's so long that you have to actually lift the bike up to remove the battery. So that's a little bit tricky when removing the battery and installing it. I feel like um, it would be really easy to have the battery slide down and hit the ground, which wouldn't be good at all. So that's just a bit of a design issue. They probably could have made the stand on the bottom of the frame just a little bit taller so that there's more clearance for the battery to come out. Now I'll show you guys what I do as a workaround. So first we'll put the battery back in so it doesn't slide out and we'll lock it. So I basically just take like a milk crate and then put it underneath the stand and basically just get it a little bit higher. So doing that will give you enough clearance to remove the battery. And that's kind of how you do it. So now that we've gone over all the features of the EUI K6 Pro, let's take it out for its first ride. first ride with the EUI K6 Pro foldable fat tire electric bike. Now this is a design I've never seen before. Obviously in the walkthrough, you can fold the bike by twisting the knob. So that's interesting. The uh, rear shock is located right over here, right under the saddle. It definitely has a very futuristic look to it. This big, big saddle over here, super wide. All right, so I gotta put one foot on the ground to balance on this thing. Okay, so let's just get right into it. We'll put it on pedal assist level two and give it a little throttle. Okay, yeah, lots, lots of torque. Instant torque too. 
that feels pretty good. Yeah, this thing just has tons of power. I can already tell we'll put it up to pedal assist level three. So yeah, the controller tune is definitely like a performance level. Almost feels like a sport mode because you just, you get all that, all that torque right from the motor. So no, let's put it back on pedal assist level two and let's just pedal. And yeah, even on the, let's put on one. So even on the lowest pedal assist setting, it's, it's really, you know, just kind of turning it right on, uh, almost like full power. So that's something to think about. I'm not quite sure if there's a lot of different variations on the pedal assist because it just seems to want to go. And if you like riding fast, I guess that's pretty good. We'll put up the pedal assist level five. And yeah, running, running out of room over here. I haven't dialed in the suspension, but it's definitely, Definitely comfortable with this saddle seat, the rear shock, the front suspension fork, all working in tandem. Let's try the brakes. So the brakes were fine. Uh, I think the levers were hitting my knuckles a little bit, so I probably need to adjust that. Um, but the bike is pretty heavy, so took a little bit of time for it to fully stop. It's a powerful bike. It's probably good for off-roading, maybe uh, more than the streets, but I can see you definitely riding this in traffic if you wanted to. Made for, like I said, riders who are a little bit taller. You know, if you're over 5'8", 5'7", 5'8", I think it's perfect. I think the most unique feature about the bike is the looks, right? Uh, it doesn't look like any other typical foldable fat tire e-bike. It has a really interesting futuristic frame to it. So if you want a bike with a lot of power, you know, a lot of torque and that looks kind of really unique and can fold then I think the K6 Pro is, is a, definitely a good option. An integrated front headlight and taillight enhance your visibility, though the battery-operated taillight will require maintenance. Having a hardwired taillight to the battery would have been a better choice. The foldable twist lock design offers a fresh take on portability, while the integrated rear rack adds practicality, perfect for carrying your gear, and the 20-inch by 4-inch all-terrain fat tires promise stability and grip, whatever the surface. So here's what we like. The K6 Pro's frame design is a breath of fresh air in the foldable fat tire e-bike category. The foldable twist lock design adds a unique, practical touch to the bike's portability. And the large, comfortable saddle seat is a big win, especially for those longer rides. But here's some things to consider. The higher seat height might not suit shorter riders, limiting its accessibility. The angle of the folded bike poses a challenge when removing the battery, risking a drop. And the battery-powered tail light requires separate maintenance, which can be a slight inconvenience. So overall, the EUI K6 Pro is an intriguing blend of style, power, and practicality, making it a strong contender for those seeking a versatile, long-range e-bike. While it has its quirks, like the battery removal issue and the non-integrated taillight, its standout design and power might just be what you're looking for. Does its style and features catch your eye? Or do the issues make you think twice? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. As always, if you want to dive into more EV tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you find tech deals that fit your lifestyle. We'll see you guys in the next video.